Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody over at YouTube. If you're watching this video later on over there for some Demir discard. So we have uh, a few new decks that we're going to be playing today here. As you can see on the top left hand corner, basically Esper Legends is like the only deck that we've played recently out of our decks. Uh, we just made the Jun Bridge range together here uh, in uh, on Twitch also that we'll be playing after this. But first we have a brand new donation deck. Uh, like we said, calling it Demir Discard, based around a card that I have actually never played before. And it'll be interesting to play it for the first time. Oh, what's happened to my mouse? Haunt of the High Tower. The Haunt of the High Tower. Sorry. Uh, legendary vampire person. So 3-3 three, three, Flying Lifelink. Whenever the Haunt of High Tower attacks, defending player discards a card. So every time it just, all it has to do is attack. Whenever it attacks, it triggers and they discard a card and um, then whenever a card is put into the opponent's graveyard from anywhere you put a 1-1 counter on a haunt of the high tower so it, assuming your opponent has a card in hand whenever you attack uh, they discard that card and then immediately triggers and puts a counter on the haunt of high tower and so it's already attacking as a 4-4 uh, the first time and so basically what we're doing here is we're we have a demir deck that's just built around uh, making our opponent discard and reducing resources. Of course, we have Disinformation Campaign and Thought Erasure, uh, two really good cards there. We're also playing some Vicious Rumors. This card, another card, haven't really played. Uh, it, it's it looks underpowered just looking at it uh, on its you know on the surface. Um, you know we have cards like Divest and Duress that may be better one mana discard spells, but I actually kind of like what we have going on here with Vicious Rumors. So. You know, it deals one damage to the opponent. That doesn't matter. It Each opponent discards a card. That's the thing that matters. Then they put the top card of their library into their graveyard, which that may kind of matter. We'll talk about that in a second. And then you gain a life, and hope, hopefully that doesn't matter too much, but that, that could. All right, so basically, um, it's just like one mana make them discard a card is like the biggest thing that we have going on here. Um, and whenever you pair, pair that with like Disinformation Campaign, make them discard another card, you know, usually like you have like an extra land or whatever to pitch, but these things will add up, of course. And so if we make them discard another card, make them discard another card, you never know, like those things can add up and um, make it so they don't have, you know, very many resources and then our Thief of Sanity or our Haunt of the High Tower um, or even Eldritch Reborn can go on check and, and take over that way. I do like how, so the this, that other thing that I said I was going to talk about, how they put their top card of their library into their graveyard. Um, so that does mean that whenever you cast a Vicious Rumor, two cards are going into their graveyard, the card that they discard and then the, then the top card of their library. So if you play it after Haunt of High Tower, um, you can put basically put two 1-1 one -one counters immediately on Haunt of High Tower. So if you have seven mana, you can play Haunt of High Tower, then just play a Vicious Rumors, put two counters on ha Haunt of High Tower, and now suddenly it's a 5-5 flying lifelink, and then whenever your opponent untaps with their Lava Coil, their finality, uh, it will not kill our vampire anymore. So that's kind of what we got going on over here. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try, see if we can pick up some wins with Demir Discard. Yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of gold to go in today. Vicious Rumors can wreck a person's mulligan. Yes, it is It is awesome against people that mulligan. You mold the five. You do not want to see a Vicious Rumors. I don't think that Liliana's enchantment card is still on standard. I don't believe. Hey, Val Valerexiel. Yeah, Valerexiel. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the chat. There we go. Thank you kindly. Enjoy all those awesome emotes. Um, yeah, we'll keep Thief. The other thing Vicious Rumors kind of does, it does wreck your opponent's mulligan, but it also kind of wrecks your mulligan. You know, if you mold a six and you have like a Vicious Offering or Vicious Rumors, you have a Vicious Rumors. Uh, it may not, you know, like it could just not do anything and then you're in trouble 
All right, let's take that moment of craving so we can play our Thief of Sanity here. They also kept a hand with no green mana. How much would you make the cost of a card that says counter target spell card controller discards a card? All right, so that so it counters a spell plus your opponent discards a card. I think I'm going to be greedy here and play the campaign instead of just holding up Frilled Mystic still. Alright, so counter target spell, they discard a card. Can you make that at 4 mana? You can probably make that at 4 mana. Yeah, you can probably make that at 4 mana. There have certainly been counter target spell draw cards before in Magic's history at four mana. And that is worse than that for the most part. Alright, Thief of Sanity, got that first one. Discard spells plus Thief of Sanity. Usually pretty strong. Let's get all these duresses in. They're going to be a very control heavy deck. Get this extra sabotage. Uh, we're going to take out Ritual of Soot. Um, I can see Cast Down doing a little bit of work though. Hmm. Hostage Taker is actually kind of cool too. Hostage Taker is really good against, obviously, Hydro Crisis, but it's really good against uh, Frilled Mystic as well if you. Have seven mana. I'm not sure Haunted High Tower is gonna matter too much here. It does get kind of outclassed though, because we I guess we need it. We need it to resolve, and then we need it to survive, and then we need it to attack. Those are all kind of tough um, to happen. This is a slower deck we're playing against, though. If we're taking out Haunt here. Hmm. All right, cast down now. All right, should I... All right, what, what could I take out instead of Haunt to the High Tower if I want to keep Haunt to the High Tower in? I don't know. Mitchin, what do you think? What do you think in this kind of matchup, Mitchin? It's your deck. Oh, no. I only have 20 seconds, though. I'm taking out a duress for one. <laughs> okay. We have a lot more experience with this hauntify tower than I do. Oh no, I have the wrong guild gate. Or at least it's, yeah, I don't, they didn't give me the guild gate with the, you know, I have the guild gate uh, with the card style. Huh, my opponent said, told me to go first. All right. Turns out Thought Razor into Thief of Sandy. Still good. Still good. Want to know? Yeah, our opponent didn't want to go first. They thought it was going to be a real long game and everything, but just Thought Razor into Thief of Sanity on the play is strong. Had that both games. And there we go. Alright, 
God. This game's gonna take a little longer uh, if we win this one. Yeah, I think you can make... No, it'd be like two blue-black. Or like... Yeah, it'd be like two blue-black, counter-target spell, discard a card. It's controller discards a card. I think you could print that. You know, like we have counter-target spell, you get a 3-3... Three, three, or a 3-2 creature. You know, like... That's not better than Frilled Mystic. Maybe, I mean, so even if you want to make it like... Uh, one BB... One UUB... There you go. One UUB. Counter target spell. It's controller. Discards a card. Uh, this is bad. So we're playing against Team of Reclamation, and none of these cards do anything now. Or like these these middle five <laughs> don't do anything. So they, they shocked in, they just have Sinister Sabotage. This is the problem with playing Sorcery Speed and not Instant Speed. Come on. We just need lands. And no tapping out for Disinformation Campaign doesn't make any sense. Oh, I don't, I don't have two blue mana for Sinister Sabotage. Never mind, it does make sense. How do I not have two blue mana for Sinister Sabotage? Okay, now we do. And they're a Crackling Drake deck. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so never mind. It definitely would have made sense to play that because I couldn't. I thought I was holding up Sinister Sabotage. I'm sorry, y'all. It was a long day yesterday. <laughs> uh, I was thinking I was holding it up in, in case of uh, a Wilmish Reclamation. But I guess this is a... A team or Drake deck. I see that every day. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm silly. We are really good against Niv Mizzet. These Elves Reborns. All right, draw a land. Draw a land. Perfect. All right, so we'll take the spell pierce. So they can't counter our Eldest Reborn. Yeah, they can't Niv right now. Blink of an eye this disinformation campaign. Go ahead. Oh, Deckmaster, I don't have that up. Okay, thank you. What, King Toll? Oh, yeah. I did say you, you can blink my campaign, and then they were like, okay, cool. That sounds like a good idea. That was a crazy game. <clears throat> that was a crazy game. So 
the 61. It's just like our, our post board strategy. I just, it's like these, these high towers just don't fit. I like all this stuff. Like we're basically playing against the same deck. Basically. This deck right now, no. This is not, no. Uh, you can see here, this is a donation deck. This is a deck that we had donated to play. Uh, I don't know exactly when we want Hightower in. I don't know exactly. We'll figure that one out together, though. Yeah, campaign's cool. Yeah, it does have lifelink and everything like that. Like, that's... Lifelink's nice. So maybe against... Whoa. Well then. Hey, Danny, welcome back for the second month. So, two cards to take here. Negate and Search for Escanta. Um, the reason to take Negate is so that Disinformation Campaign would resolve... For sure. Um, the reason to take Escanta is because, like, if they draw their second land, basically if they draw their second land right there, would I rather them play Escanta or would I rather them negate my disinformation campaign? I'd rather them play Escanta, I think. Because I think the, the campaign, you know, will help help me out getting another you know, getting another card and everything also take a take away a resource from them like it this is this is Kanta is not super scary right now Are they going to copy this with expansion? So they just... If they copy this expansion, it's just like making them discard two cards, basically. So even if you flip this as Kanta here, it's not it's not doing too much. There goes all three Carnage Tyrants. So, Mitchin, where where do you really really like? Um, where have you been really impressed with High Tower? Against mid range and Sultai. Cool. Why are they just throwing away a spell pierce? You can just discard the growth spiral. Come on, play a crackling drake. Come on. Come on, play a crackling drake.
So we're basically just waiting to find a Thief of Sanity, I guess. We're not in the best spot. I mean, we're okay. We're doing okay. I don't know. Like, as Kanta... As Kanta is going to just fill up their hand and, you know, we make them discard the card kind of each time. But, like, getting, like, Chemister's Insights. Like, if they just start getting those... Ugh. Them just drawing lands is not what we want. We want them basically drawing anything that's not lands. Like, all these land draws are not good for us. Well, that's a good card. Eldritch Reborn's a great card. There we go. That can that can go just put Carnage Tyrant back into play. So we're looking great now again. Yeah, this is where High Tower shines, yeah. Well, this this point, we'd basically already won the game kind of thing. All right, just mute, mute this person. How do you... Mute. There we go. So they could find a fourth Spell Pierce if they have four. They've already played three Spell Pierces. It's just really unlikely there's a fourth one, right? Alright, we are 2-0. We've had a couple weird ones so far here. But I guess that's kind of what our deck is designed to do. Is just reduce the resources of both sides and then just like see what's left standing. <laughs> and we've had the upper edge, thankfully, both times. This hand looks pretty interesting with the uh, with the Haunt of the High Tower. It's our first time drawing it. Whoa, look at me. I'm a spooky vampire. No, don't take my spooky vampire. Ah. Vicious rumors. Do you really think guild gates are necessary? I don't know. I could see the answer to that question being no. Putting the counter spell over in the graveyard to just help fuel our Ascanta and be able to flip our Ascanta a little faster. But I, I want the land. I want to be able to get towards this. Haunt of the High Tower. We have a land for this turn. Let's ditch this. Um, and I will pass. Whoa, Valexiro! Val Valeri. Oh my gosh. Valer. Valer. Axial. I feel like I was pronouncing this correctly earlier. Oh, I'm so sorry. Valeraxial. Hmm. Pronunciations are tough. Anyway, 
Thank you, thank you very much for that big donation. So, let's see what we got here. Discard. Eight rack is my favorite deck ever, but Demir Discard doesn't quite scratch that itch. Be it top decking or early advantage, they are still in the game. Anything you can do to bring my dream to life, no restrictions. Okay. So. Um. Okay. So do you want do you want a deck after War of the Spark? Valor Axe Eel. Okay, Valor Axe Eel. Okay, I could I could do that. That's easy. Okay, I gotcha. So would you like a an after war of the spark deck? Do you want one before? What what would you like? Any specific colors? Okay. A deck now. Hmm. I do like how this balances as Kanta. I think I'm going to bounce it on their end step, or actually may just activate Ascanta. They're di discarding lands. I don't know if they know how control mirrors go. Lands are really important. Oh, lucky. Still got a land. I don't think this dispersal is honestly worth it. I think it's probably better as discovery. All right, casting discovery. All right, new discovery. Good discovery. Or good vicious rumors. Get rid of that thought erasure. I think I want to have mana that I can sinister sabotage by the time I'm playing Haunt of the High Tower. Alright, bunch of lands. There we go. Those are the cards I want. Those are the cards I want. So even if even if uh, our opponent plays Teferi next turn, we have Thought Erasure to check for a counter spell and then Eldest Reborn to start going. They've ditched two Mortifies, which is good for our Eldest Reborn so far. Uh, one mana short of double Thought Erasure. I don't know if that really matters though. Elsterborn's great. Yeah, 
Yes, the, it, it really is first. So Mythic Edition, it really is first come first serve. Like they're just going to oh that is that's a killer. They're just it's just going to suddenly be live on the the uh, Hasbro shop, and you just have to hopefully order before everybody else does. It usually sells out really really quickly. You know, within like a couple of minutes or something. It's a it's a pretty bad um, system. But that's how it works. Okay. Alright, so Valor Axial. Um, All right, so I'll have I'll have something for you tomorrow. So you just want any kind of deck with a lot of discarding. And standard here. Similar to 8 rec in modern. What are you doing? How could you possibly. What? Why would you mortify that and not my Eldest Reborn? Let's slow I just get it to Fairy. Now. We need to move quickly. They're more scared of Haunts of Hightower? What is going on? Activate. 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 Dang. I saw when they were gonna activate before this Elvish Born trigger. No time for a break. <laughs> Maybe our opponent's allergic to vampires. <laughs> So, 8 rack punishes you for not having cards, as opposed to, to just not having cards. Okay. Way down we go. So play a Teferi, tuck their own Teferi. This isn't a fight you can win. Not so fast. Yeah. Yeah, Minchin, I know you said yours you do want yours anti control and mid range and you want a you want a black deck that's anti control. Creature graveyard, that should put a counter on. Or sorry, card in the graveyard puts a counter on Haunt of the High Tower. So they can activate their Escanta here and step and grab another.
Grab another Teferi. And now this Teferi can tuck my Eldritch Reborn. And at that at that time, then I'll surveil, try to get the Eldritch Reborn back. Kind of thing. Um, Trust me. You'll if they're just drawing, me. we have these. If they just want to tick up and draw. And we obviously can attack as well. You need to take a time out. Okay, they're talking Haunt of the High Tower. They are really scared of that card. The best thing our opponent had. I'll just let them have that because I'm just going to make them discard both of those. The best thing our opponent had here was that um, that Field of Ruin breaking up my search for Escanta was quite good. That didn't go according to plan. Hey, Black Lotus. I'm just writing. Uh, we just had a donation for a a new deck for me to make, so I was writing some notes about what to design the, the deck around. Sorry, I hold that thought. This game's not over. If they just find another Teferi and tuck this Teferi, I'll be mean. Gate over there. We should get some Haunt of the High Tower triggers here. A bunch of triggers. Trigger the Disinformation Campaign too. We could mill our opponent. So I'm at 19 cards in library. Opponent's at 25. Our opponent conceded. Yeah, Haunt of the High Tower got really big really fast. So, you know, we even di didn't get to, or like we didn't even get to attack with it. But, you know, it was a 3 3, and then it was a 7 7 when, you know, it's like our opponent's turn. Yeah, if only it cost 5 and not 6. I agree. Okay, let's get all this kind of stuff in. So I think they're going to have like their own Thief of Sanities. Whoops. Sorry about that. I think they're going to have their own Thief of Sanities. So we have to be worried about those. Which is why I want Hostage Taker. Maybe not on the draw. I mean, they're definitely playing their own Thief of Sanities. I mean, I like all these cards. What am I taking out? I don't know. All these cards are good. I mean, I guess I could just take out Vicious Rumors. But Vicious Rumors on the draw is a whole lot better on the play. Like, on the play, I can cut the Vicious Rumors, maybe. But, like, when they don't have that extra card... I don't know. Vicious Rumors is pretty sweet. 
I don't really have anything to cut here. I guess I just have to cut two moments and... I don't know. I mean, Discovery is not really a good card to cut. If I was running out of time and panicking. Well, we cut two discoveries, but we found the other ones. <laughs> so we're good there. Cast down. Um, I I want to keep them because of... Because of Thief of Sanity. Because I, I assume our opponent's going to have like three or four Thief of Sanities. I certainly get punished for not keeping that Contempt, but I don't have the extra mana right now. Wow. Pass. Chemistry's insight, huh? Wow. Because they know about the negate that I have in my hand, too. So, like, they have a removal spell. They're definitely playing that sorcerer speed. So many shock lands. They're down to 12 already. Um. I mean, Teferi's the best card, but if I... If I don't take Chemistry's Insight, then they have it in their graveyard that they can, you know, they can jumpstart with it. I'll, I'll still just take the Teferi. It's just too good. No. Stop looking at my hand. Where are the discard deck over here? Yeah, they've had they've had basically all shock lands. They've shocked three times. All right. Thief getting it done yet again. All right, and we got a pack also for being 3-0 and o so far. Let's crack our pack. I already have all the rares of Mythics, so basically do we get gems or do we get a wild card? Looks like we got gems. Twenty gem. Ten cents worth of gems. Yeah, Sunday, free pack Sunday. Free pack Sunday. Alright, as Kanta can help us hit our land drops for our, th for our awesome three drops. Ugh. 
Demir Guildgate. All right, still playing this. Um, hoping to see a land in one of the top two. Is our opponent playing my Esper Duplicate deck? I could see that. I could see him playing Esper Duplicate. <laughs> it's funny how much more I look forward to Sunday since I started playing Arena. <laughs> yeah, last three packs before War of the Spark. Yep, War of the Spark is going to be out on Thursday. Yeah, they're playing my Esper Duplicate deck. Sweet. Days are over. Boom. Thieves. Who's the Esper Duplicate deck now? Ah. Jupes. So I have to leave removal up if my opponent casts one of their quasi duplicates to copy a chupacabra. I got to be able to kill it. If they don't, I'm just going to kill these two freebooters and get my other cards back. So my opponent knows that I have a, a an instant speed. Like I'm basically, I'm pretty surprised that that was their turn because they know that I have an instant speed removal spell, considering how I attacked in with the Thieva Sandy against the two Kite Sail Freebooters before, and they didn't block, and you know keeping the card on top. Like they just have to assume that I have I already have an instant speed removal spell. I like how it allows us to double spell play thief and vicious rumors like that lets us double spell I would I mean I, I kind of want land also but I like this card do you ever bluff having a removal spell when you attack yeah sometimes you do it it's you know kind of um, you know game state and, and everything and all that kind of stuff but yeah certainly bluff attack Welcome back, Mitchin. Hmm. Let's play this first so they don't know about what we're doing here. And if I... If I would have taken the Hostage Taker... Then they would have a Thief of Sanity in their graveyard, and they could turn the Lazav into a Thief of Sanity, and that would be annoying. Yeah, we are the, the Thief... We are the Thief of Thieves. You can call us the 
Thief of Thieves. So again, playing playing Elderborn here just doesn't doesn't help us out too much. I mean, it, playing Elderborn's great. The problem is my Thieva Sandy's going to die because they just quasi duplicate the Chupacabra if I, if we do that. Hmm. This is annoying. All right, Thieva Sandy's gonna die. All right, you're gonna die, Thief. I'm sorry. All right, so let's say, let's say I let them have the contempt, or I contempt the freebooter or the chupacabra. Then Lazav spends three mana, turns into Thief of Sanity, and then they have their own Thief of Sanity. All right, we got rid of a Seraph. That's good. I think I only have... Whoa. Huh. I was not... even, like, ahead there. I was a little ahead. I just had to flip Descanta, but... I couldn't deal with the Chupacabras that were going to be attacking me a bunch. I couldn't really attack through. I mean, I guess... I guess I could trade Thief for one of the Freebooters and get a card back. Yeah, maybe they just had to go. Yeah. Could also be a viewer, because they were playing my deck, and maybe they just wanted to give me the win. I don't know. Who knows? That was not what I was expecting. You know, that was a, that was a left turn. But we are 4-0, which means we are fighting the extra boss, and we have an extra life. Demir discard, doing its thing. Let's get our final boss playlist going. Get our final boss emotes out. And let's go. Down, 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 down. All right, what do we got? Dang. 
Fortunately, we got a mulligan. So many cool cards. We need lands to go with our cool cards. You can use it whenever. You know, it's just... Just makes them discard a card. Uh, you know, talking about vicious. Uh, vicious whatever. Rumors. Yeah. You can use it early. You can use it later when they're just like holding a card or two. Uh, mono red. Oh, it really took you a while to figure out that's Bowser? Bowser. All right, we need to find good cards. So I'm getting this as Kanta in play. The best time to use Vicious Rumors is whenever your opponent stabilizes at 1. That's really why we have it in the deck, is for whenever the opponent stabilizes at 1, we can get to do that one point, of, make them lose one life. I mean, that's that's what the card's really for. They already played a land from hand. That's nice. You see, there we go. Deal one damage, gain one life. Gain that life. All right, got rid of Frenzy. I don't think... I don't I don't think Davriel fits in Modern. A couple things about it. I mean, I could see it being a sideboard card. I don't know if it... if it targets. So basically, I, I don't know if you can use it against a White Ley Line. Yeah, I just don't I don't know the exact wording of the card off the top of my head. If you can, then I could maybe see it getting some sideboard time against Bogles and White Leyline. So if I if I take you know obviously Thieves Sandy is a spell that's you know pretty good. Um, if I ditch it, I can start activating as Kanta though. I think I still take it. Of course, Thief dies to a burn spell, but it kind of requires a burn spell, so it's basically gain a couple life, uh, only two. Alright, so I'm not activating as Kanta this turn, so I'm going to decline. Against Risk Factor, you, you mostly want to take damage. You basically let them draw... Um, either if you have... If you have like a ton of, um, <clears throat> if you have like a ton of discard effects, you could let them draw. Um, or if you just don't have life as a resource. Come on, miss it for a turn, miss it. No, don't draw a burn spell. Don't draw a burn spell. So I couldn't activate I couldn't activate as Kanta, of course, because I saw this on top. We wanted to draw this. Hooray! Our life linker. Our champion. Ooh, has a sneaky animation too. Alright, I guess I should have activated this first. Because if we, if we would have found vicious rumors.
then Vicious Rumors would have made them mill over a card and turned the Haunt of the Hightower into a 4-4. But we got the Counterspell back up. Haunt of Hightower. The Haunt. Coming through Clutch. Alright, maybe some Rituals, some Moments. Another Sabotage, some Negates. Uh, do I want to take her? And Ascanta was clutch that game. Yeah, I guess we could have activated Ascanta before Sabotage. I guess that would make sense. But we, good thing we didn't because we had the high tower on top. All right, we're obviously not playing all these. I may not even play all the cards I just brought in, but I'm just kind of like, you know, bringing in some stuff to just kind of see what we want. Um, I think no hostage taker, no eldest. No campaign. My deck's going to be really slow without campaign, though. But I'm playing another search for his Kanta, because Kanta can find counter magic and everything. Go three set. All right, let's try this. <laughs> Everything is slow in this deck. That is true. Now negates help you stay alive in, when you get to the late game. You know, if you you have your other cards that help you get to the late game, negates. You know, like you're gonna. You're not going to be at a super high life total, but the negates, um... They... Um, can keep you alive. Alright, so Vicious Rumors just, you know, trade one for one and gain a life. That's honestly pretty good against... Yeah, like, I mean, trading with a Chain Whirler and gaining a life, that is... That's honestly really good against Mono Red. Yeah, usually the Chain Whirler like deals damage to you and then you have to like cast down it or whatever. Yeah. Get rid of a lightning strike. Gain a life. That's good. Cause like if they're if they're trying to like experimental frenzy. Stuff like that, you know, even taking lands out of their hand isn't so bad. We need to stop drawing lands, though. You know, we've drawn two lands our first two turns. We can't really draw more lands. Take this Frenzy. That's a light up. That's still something to take. Um, I mean, you're a three mana answer to one of their creatures. It's better than a, a brick, I guess. It's better than a land. It's not very good. I could ditch it and just pray for Ritual of Set. But hoping to draw something that costs two or less, like a two mana answer where we can play Thief plus the two mana answer. The Yoshino Pyromancers have just destroyed us. Alright, we need... Maybe we need to get this fourth ritual set back in here. What if we take out Thief completely? 
Would you rather have campaign? No, probably not. I'll trim one for another set. Well, being on the play, four mana sleeper, sweeper, sorry, is usually not too slow on the play. On, on the draw, it's kind of rough. Yeah, you kind of need the three mana one on the, on the draw. All right, a game three. Because Haunt has lifelink. And it's big. And it has lifelink. If we can... Because we have to be able to win the game, right? Like, we have to have something that turns the corner. And that's what Haunt can do. You know, if we can just have all of our other cards are just kind of built on surviving, you actually have to turn the corner and have something, like, push you ahead. And that's what Haunt can do. You don't want to, like, stabilize and still lose because you don't really go anywhere after that. Mm, I think Lightning Strike kills haunt but I could also see it being like goif and it, no because it would trigger and like with this trigger on because this is a trigger so with the trigger on the stack yeah so no it's not like goif it yes so basically yes lightning strike kills haunt dubs light up dubs light up Well, it can still never beat Frenzy, so let's just take that card. Ugh. All right, the stage has been lit up. Kill that. We'll have the... Get a stop in here. Stop better work. Let's just tap out right now. For the best chance of having the token work, they should just lead with the Lava Runner and then go War Boss. They basically had no chance for getting the token there. Dilt. I need land. Please don't draw a frenzy. There you go, that's a land. Go, thief, go. There's no way they have any more burn spells. They already they already used a bunch. Yeah, they're they're way out of burn spells. No way they had a burn spell. Their burn spells right here on top for me to take to kill the steamkin. Uh I guess you kill a steamkin. Kind of. Hmm. Not very reliably, though. I'll take you. You're a little more re reliable. No, you cannot play Lands with Thief. Well, I wish I would have discovered before I played Viashino. Eh, do I really wish that? Not really. So they probably got a burn spell for Thief now. 
Okay, not a burn spell. Dang it. Alright, well, this went bad. Oh my gosh. Why are they waiting? Oh my gosh. Our opponent, they waited. They let us on tap. They let us on tap. Thank you. It said instant. You gotta play at instant speed. It says instant. All right, so we gotta take risk factor because otherwise they'll just have the risk factor. And we don't want them to have the risk factor. All right, just gonna counter this because I'm hopefully playing this Haunt of Hightower next turn. All right, can we find a burn spell yet? Done. I don't even want to choose one. Fine, I'll choose one. Get out of here. Lava runner. Still not our fifth land. Oh man, that's a, or still not the sixth land. There's a ton of cards in a row that haven't been a land. It's been like... Discovery, Negate, Search, Sabotage, Thought Erasure, Sabotage. Now Cast Down. Cast Down's a good one, though. Thief is probably going to die eventually. Just, oh my gosh. No. Look at how little burn spells we've seen from their deck. Like, so little burn spells. There's got to be burn spells here, like, really soon. There's one. I'm not liking where we're at. Because, like, they have to draw. Come on, be land, land. Could it possibly be land, land, and still not another burn spell? That was land, land. They bricked. Five and O. Oh. We did it. Demir discard with the win. All we had to do is hit him with Thieva Sandy like five times and counter like five other spells. And we still barely won. Oh yeah, and and we needed our yeah we needed our opponent to wait till our turn to try to kill the thief. For sure, not cast it on their own turn. So there we go, haunt the high tower, uh, finished off both of our wins against Mono Red haunt of, haunt of high tower, um, finished the game off. So that was cool. That was a really good draw. Like game one, we were like at four. And basically anything, you know, like our opponent could like kill us, but then we found the Haunts of Hightower and they didn't have the removal spell for one turn. And so then we got to gain a bunch of life. 
So that was cool. Hey, what's up, Johnny? All right, so Mitch, good job. Nice deck. Uh, this one played pretty well. Uh, we had a lot of discard spells. And honestly, let's give it up for Vicious Rumors. Even just throughout those games, this card was actually good for us. Um, yeah, this card was actually good for us. So, like, surprisingly powerful Vicious Rumors. Um, you know, we weren't really expecting... As we talked about like the beginning of the video, it was a card that haven't really played, wasn't really expecting too much of it, but it did its job not only against mono red of trading, you know, trading with a chain whirler or a lightning strike like it did, and you know, allowing you to gain a life as well. But even against other decks, uh, like when we were playing against the mid-range decks, just you know, like we like with Thought Erasure, Disinformation Campaign, like they were Thought Erasuring us, we were Thought Erasuring them kind of thing. Like we we're both like just kind of down on, on resources and we're just like, hey, get rid of one of those cards. And, you know, it just helps our, it really helps our like Thief of Sanity and stuff like that. So that was cool. All right. If you were watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Demir Discard and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.